What's up guys? Yes, uh, the video, the title is correct. It's not clickbait. This, my Ferrari 430 Scuderia is going up for sale and decided it is time to put this car up for sale and I'll explain all in this video. But first things first, I need to go give it a wash and I need to go check my tire pressures and then we'll go for a drive and I'll tell you all about it. I've driven quite a bit with this car, probably like 6,000 kilometers or so. I keep delaying doing this video because I didn't want to admit to myself that this car was gonna go up for sale, but it is what it is. We're arriving at the car wash place and it is busy as always. Brilliant. Okay. There we go. Okay, this is where the tire pressures are. 2.1 fronts, two rears. Really? Let's go. Polish, anyways, with the last spray you do, well, the one before last, when you clean the car down here in France, they'll put this kind of polish wax stuff on the car, which will make the water kind of just smoothly wash off your car and not leave any any marks. But if that gets on your brake calipers, which it obviously will, it can make the brakes slightly less sticky and a little less predictable straight away. So you need to warm them up nicely, get all that junk off, and then you can start really enjoying what a car this is. And yes, I decided to put it up for sale. I wanted to kind of say it first on YouTube so that, you know, the people who have followed the journey from day one of me having this car for the last nearly two years, time flies, but it's been nearly two years since I bought this car. You know, you guys will be the first to have the opportunity to potentially buy it and enjoy it which I thought was so cool and I would love that the most, but why have I, I mean, I guess for you guys, it probably looks like suddenly decided to sell this car. I've been thinking about it for ages and I've teased it a little bit. You know, I've had offers on the car. I've had people try and buy this car in the last uh, six months or so. Obviously I haven't accepted any of those or I wouldn't be in the car today. I didn't want to sell it really. I mean, I thought, you know, it's such a raw experience that, you know, having been lucky enough to drive a lot of cars, I've, you know, I'm incredibly fortunate in that department. I haven't found really that many experiences at this price point that make your hair stand on end as much. I mean, the only one I had recently was the TDF, but I mean, that's just a whole different price bracket. So I was reluctant to sell the car, but then quite a few things have kind of come into play since then. Main of which is that I bought the Porsche Turbo, the uh, Turbo S. And obviously that is a much, much more usable uh, car. So I've been driving around in that so much more and I haven't been using this as much. Another thing which happened is I had a parking space close to my house, so I parked the turbo at my house and a parking space close to it, uh, which was through a friend, um, where I'd park this so I could, you know, walk over and get the car and it was no problem. That space is no longer available, so I now leave this at my parents' house, which is a 15 minute drive away, which means I need to drive 15 minutes every time to get it, which obviously just means I use the car less. So between having the turbo, uh, between, uh, you know, not being able to drive as easily, and also it had a few things just because, you know, I've done 6,000 kilometers with it, I've driven it quite a bit. There's just a little bit of wear and tear as normal with these cars, like a couple little tiny stone chips just from following other cars, um, just a few tiny little details, which I just had completely uh, put brand new by Opulence Motors. So the car is like tip top condition right now and looks brand new. So I was thinking about it over the last kind of 10 days and I was like, you know what? 
I think it may be the time. It may be the perfect time. Um, the car's in perfect condition. You're really not driving it that much. And um, again, if you've been following the channel or on my Instagram, you've maybe seen I've kind of got it involved in a few other out of the car world um, yeah, businesses, but also just like ideas and projects, um, which I'm putting a lot of time, which means less time to drive the car, but also, um, you know, some funds, some investment in. And so having, you know, all this money basically locked up in a car that I'm not driving that much anymore. Does it make the most sense? Uh, is it better to kind of unlock that and be able to use it for projects or just have it ready so that if a good opportunity pops up, you've got it to go. Same thing, if a good car deal pops up, you've got it ready to go. You know, could be, could be worth thinking about. So these are all the questions I've been asking myself. Um, you know, also because I'm not driving it as much, I don't want to be that guy. I mean, when I say I'm not driving as much, I still probably drive it twice a week, uh, two, three times a week. But I used to daily drive it, and I feel like you know it may get better use um, in someone else's hands who's going to you know really use it almost every day and drive it a lot. And that's what I want for this car. I want it to be used because it is just such an experience. It deserves more than just to be sat kind of yeah in a collection or in a garage. And I really hope that's not where it's going to end up. But you know you can't control that 100%. So so all in all, I've been pondering about making this video. Um, you know, I, I've had a, obviously a few friends and garages say, listen, we'll take care of the sale for you, we'll take the car for you. I don't really want that um, too much because A, I wanted it to go through YouTube and give uh, my followers the first opportunity to, um, you know, come see the car, buy the car potentially. Uh, that's what I would love the most is for it to go to a follower that I can stay in touch with, maybe see the car again, film videos with it again. That's what I wanted the most. Um, and also, I'm in no rush. Uh, I've kind of decided, okay, I'm gonna put it up for sale, but I, I'm, I'm not rushed, you know? If it sells in six months, then so be it, you know? I want to get what I believe the car is worth, um, and in the meantime, I'll keep it, have access to it, and still drive it, still make videos with it, uh, and make the most of it, but it will be up for sale if the right person for the right price ends up deciding to go for it. So that's where I'm at with this car. I mean, I've had so many unbelievable experiences with this. You know, from taking subscribers for a ride to putting a Christmas tree on the uh, on the roof of the car. We've done some pretty nuts things. Uh, I mean, comment down below if you've been watching the channel for a while, what your favorite memory is with this. This one with 550 horsepower. It's got the Capristo exhaust. I mean, I also have the standard exhaust. Um, it's just, oh, I, I really do love it. So it's, you know, reluctantly putting it up for sale, but I just think it's, it's the right time. And I don't want to get too attached enough. It's a materialistic object at the end of the day. You don't and shouldn't get too, too attached to it. I always think there's a right time to let these things go, even though, you know, we've shed so much and I really do love this car. You know, one of the reasons I'm the most reluctant also to sell it is because of this spec. You know, because I could tell myself, listen, I could sell the car and if ever I want one again, then, you know, hopefully I'll still be able to, to just go and get another Scud. But the issue is, the spec of this one is um, so cool, outrageous. I love it. You got the, you know, the roll cage in Alcantara. You got every carbon option. You got the yellow details, the Grigio Silverstone paint, the painted stripes, the black wheels, the yellow calipers, the race harnesses, uh, the Capristo exhaust, the extended paddles. Like the whole package is for me just perfect. But it is what it is, and I look forward to someone else being able to enjoy it and hopefully enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed it because this is been the best car I've ever owned um, and the one that I've had the most fun with for sure it is an animal and I just think it's one of the greats as well um, yeah I mean, it's a Ferrari but I just think even in the Ferrari lineup this one stands out you know with the likes of the 599 GTO the Challenge Stradale the TDF uh, all of those cars especially Ali 
I think this is right up there and really holds its own, holds its place. And I feel so fortunate, so lucky to have been able to experience one and have the honor of having the key in my hand for nearly two years. All that being said, what I'm gonna do is put an email on the screen right now. And through that email, if you are interested, if you are serious, please only if you are serious about wanting a Scud um, and my car would interest you, please uh, send an email to the address which will be on the screen and we'll be in touch and uh, I'll let you know all the details about the car. It's got 52,700 kilometers right now. So let's call it 53,000. Um, 2009 model car. So yeah, it's done whatever, about 5,000 kilometers a year. And uh, yeah, let me know if you are interested and we'll see where this all takes us. But before we arrive at the destination, why don't we do one last tunnel run. Just sat there. Oh, yeah, I love the way this car looks. Look at these. The diffuser with the yellow. Ah, oh, it's so cool. So cool. Man, I love this car. Anyways, had to make this video. Again, I'm sure the comments aren't going to be easy to read, but the uh, email, if you're interested, will be down below. And thank you as always for the support, guys. I, uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Maybe one of you is going to end up with my uh, 430 Scuderia. Take care, I hope you're well. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.